So you don't want to miss anything in this video and at the end there's something extra special and be sure to leave a comment, like and subscribe and stay tuned. Every situation is a win. You went through a challenge, you won. If it brought you closer to Allah and you have the whole world at your fingertips, you have lost if it distanced you from Allah. Some people when they have a problem, they go away from Allah. They go to the clubs. They want to start drinking. Why? I've asked some of the guys, why do you drink? He says to forget my problems. Oh, wow. For how many minutes, my brother? Don't ever touch an intoxicant. You mess up your entire life. You don't know. Two things that will take you to heaven. When the Prophet ﷺ was asked about people who will enter Jannah, we want to know their qualities. Those who are going to go to paradise. Tell us what are their qualities. You know what he said? He said, Taqwa Allahi wa husnul khuluqi. There are two things that take people to heaven. Consciousness of Allah and the greatness of your character and conduct. My brothers and sisters, ask yourself, how conscious are you of Allah? How conscious am I? Why am I a Muslim? I am a Muslim because I believe I was created by a maker. And I believe that maker is the only one who deserves any act of worship. I want to have a direct relationship with my maker. That's why I'm a Muslim. I don't want to go via a stick or a stone or a tree or a grave or another person. I want to go me and Allah, me and my maker who made me and made entire creation. That's why I'm a Muslim. Many people do not know what might happen tomorrow because obviously as a mu'min we do realize that everything is in the hands of Allah we are believers and we know that Allah can change things at any time positive or negative it's up to him he does what he wishes Allah will never be questioned about what he does, but they, meaning you and I, will be questioned. What you do, what I do, we will be questioned. But what Allah does, no one can ever question Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as much as we know things are in the hands of Allah, when someone says bad things about you, lies about you behind your back in front of you when someone falsely accuses you the first thing you need to do is to thank allah allah says be patient regarding what they are saying against you allah says we know that what they are saying hurts you you're a good person here you have people saying bad things about you and you know they are telling a lie you should say alhamdulillah and feel sorry for them. What amazing statement. Oh Allah, guide my people. They don't know what they're doing. Their evil must not make us lose our good. Don't lose your great character and conduct because someone else. You're a human. You made a mistake. Allah's given you opportunity upon opportunity to seek forgiveness. Did you seek the forgiveness? The answer is yes. I sought it once and twice and thrice. Well, don't let shaitan trap you again by making you think that you're not forgiven subhanallah how dare you doubt the mercy of allah never give up on dua nothing is impossible for allah when allah promises you something there's no doubt yes it's his timing not yours you might make a dua say but allah's not hearing don't even think that allah will give you when the time is right every minute of delay is an absolute blessing may allah almighty grant us all the same hadith speaking about hardship and difficulty says a true believers affairs are amazing because when they face hardship, they bear sabr. It's better for them. What a great reward. Didn't I say moments ago that sabr is an act of worship that Allah says he gives you an unlimited reward for it. So was it a loss? No, it's a win. Don't stress. If today is wrong, tomorrow will be right. And if today is right, something might go wrong according to you tomorrow. According to Allah, it did not go wrong. It was his plan for you and for me.